what I, I we made twenty three bucks last month. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it starts, right? <laughs> God bless it. God bless you guys. We're at 23 bucks money. each. <laughs> yeah, 23 bucks each. Now that's money, kids. That's money you can spend. Okay. That's, that's our beer budget for one episode. <laughs> <laughs> and we're eating smoked salmon today, too, so we blew our entire budget on smoked salmon and beer. Hi, everybody. Hey, welcome back. We are uh, doing another bit on the Tower of Death. Yes. And so you've done something a little different that you haven't done for the show before. Yeah, we, um, it's black and white line drawings. Like, you know, back in the old days, uh, there was a lot of black and white line drawings inside the modules. Just the cover was in color. Yeah. But since the latest versions, editions of Dungeons & Dragons have been all in color, we started doing those and Ben said, you know, I'd kind of like to see some black and whites because they look pretty cool too. It's something different, you know? Yeah, and, and it'll look cool from a design perspective because then it's not yeah. going to like take, you know, like it'll add to the text, but it won't like, you know, overpower. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. So the first one I did is the, um, Ben, why don't you show everyone? It's the characters going up the oh, side cool. of the tower. This is the, we have a sketch of this from your original one. Yes, I think, I think we showed it. Yeah, we mm -hmm. did. Um, this is from when you are, you've landed on the island and you're going up towards the base of the tower. Yes. And you run into the tentacle creature that comes out of the caves. Mm -hmm. And it grabs you and it tries to throw you into the water. Yep, it does. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> it thrash you around. Yeah, and it looks like this dude's having a bad day. He's, uh, he's not. A couple of those guys are having a bad day. Oh, yeah, that guy's having a worse day. <laughs> I didn't even... <laughs> yeah, one's day, one guy's day is bad, the other one is worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's going to be awesome, and that'll be... We'll put that on the... So the idea of what we're doing here is we're going to... Once we've finished this series, um, we're going to make uh, a book that will print... They, it'll be a print-on-demand book, and when we go and do... Uh, shows and stuff will bring these books with us and it'll be the tower of death it'll just be like a little module that you can run through you'll be able to download it off the website and um basically this will be like the side art for uh when you run into this monster mm -hmm. you land yeah. In the tower. yeah it'll be in it, one of the in, uh, illustrations inside inside the little module there so yeah mm -hmm. and then w we should do an art walkthrough of this too at some point if you have yeah. videos of you recording. yeah i got videos of all this stuff inking away like a maniac yeah mm -hmm. so that'll be kind of a fun thing because we haven't really s done that yet yeah we haven't done that'll be something new yeah. so and guess what ben i did another one yeah yes so here is when the characters ah. get to the base of the tower and they realize that the stone bridge that goes across from the small little ruined one to the big tower is broken. So your, cre your characters are going to have to figure out a way to either climb up, like on a rope type thing here, or maybe jump across. Mm -hmm. Or if they have any kind of spells that allow them to levitate or, or fly or anything like that, they can get over there. So Yeah. Or try to uh, climb up the side of the hill. Yeah. So uh, very interesting thing there so i love these i love th th this is like very old school D. &D. yes it is like, this is cool looking like, and i i awesome. got um there's an artist his name was joseph clement cole and he was popular in the 1930s in the united states and um, he did a series of book illustrations and stuff he was a very popular guy and he used this really scritchy kind of line style so i cracked out a couple of my Joseph Clement Cole books, I threw them on my desk, and I went, hmm, how did he do that? <laughs> and so, because um, normally my stuff isn't quite this liney, I was just breaking out something to give it that, uh, I don't know, a little more of an antique look. It looks like, it looks like an illustration from like an early edition D&D yeah, that's, module. Yeah, that's really what I wanted. It. Yeah, it's very cool. I love the designs of the, of the armor and the... Yeah, it's kind of a, it's got a Prince Valiant kind of feel to totally. it a little bit. A little, very first edition uh, type looking stuff because everyone knows I'm a first edition weirdo. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I wanted that, that cool art feel. Yeah, so, that's awesome. Yeah, we think you guys are going to like it too. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. very cool. And uh, so we will, we'll include these in the, in the, yeah, 
in the yeah, books, and they're going to be. And we'll do art. art yeah, and then we'll throw up. Uh, we'll throw up a, a video of me uh, drawing these things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Cool. Awesome. Okay, we'll see you guys later. See you.